so our first our first stop on the pub crawl today is here at the Paramount Cafe. And we, we got skunked out at our first two stops, which were uh, supposed to be a Belgian place called the, what was it called? The Cheeky Lung. We couldn't find it. And we were going to go to Pints Pub down in Colfax, which is not wheelchair accessible. And so we're gonna, we came back to 16th Street and we're going to start here at the Paramount Cafe, which is just kind of a roll of the dice to see what's going to go on, alright? Okay, so we got these uh, triples from the New Belgian Ale Company, which are the makers of Fat Tire. And this is a local brew for the made up in Colorado. Go ahead, Tim. So what do you think of that? Yeah, it's good. It's flowery. Flowery? Like, uh, okay. all the other Belgian beers I have. Alright, so I'm going to take a taste now. This is the triple from New Belgian Brewery. Nice and smooth. Real nice, rich taste. I don't know if you can see that in this dark light, but it's a nice, it's not a dark beer, it's pretty light. But uh, it's a very, very good beer. Okay, so Letty's got the, this, this is the house beer called the, from Big Nose. I don't know who makes it, but this is the Big Nose wheat beer that Letty got on tap. She's putting her orange into it. And yes, there are a lot of red lights here inside the Paramount Cafe. That's why we all look red on the camera. I guess you could call this the red light district, huh? Yeah. That's pretty what do you think of that? You want to try our triple? You don't care for that? So how's your wheat beer taste? What's it taste like? It's pretty good. It's how's it? like a hefe reason. It's like any other hefe reason? Let me give a sip of it. Okay. So now I'm going to try the big nose wheat here. Let's see what it tastes like. Ooh, that's nice. You know, if, if you remember like a uh, Pyramid Happy Visa or Windmere, it's got more of a bite than this does. This, this is almost like like tra taking like fermented orange juice. Very good. Here, you want to try it, Tim? Nah, we get our we get our drinks in dirty glasses, just like Bugs Bunny. Nice, huh? Mm -hmm. Almost sweet, but just, just to the point where it's still good and not too sweet. Okay, so that's, a, that's the beer selection here at the Paramount Cafe in downtown Denver. Next stop here is the Ship Tavern Inn here at the Brown Palace Hotel. Did you, uh, did you see the seating? Okay, so, so here in the Ship Tavern, we've got the Brecken, oh, this is the Vorsteiner, which is a German beer. They have a tap here. So go ahead, Tim, give that a shot. Okay. Can you reach it? I mean... How's that? That's fine. I mean, it tastes good. Crispy, heavy. What do you think? Maybe a little bit heavy. A little heavy? Okay. You want to try this one now? This is the Breckenridge Avalanche, which is a local Colorado beer. A little darker. So let's see what you think about that one. That is a little bit darker, maybe a little bit more bitter. 
Yes. Yes. Mom, mom probably wouldn't like it. No. Poppy? Yes. Okay. All right. So let me try this. This is the this is the Vorsteiner, German. Thank you. Bit of a skunk to it, just a tiny bit of a skunk to it. Yeah, I was I was gonna say the same thing too. Okay. Just I don't like this. This is like that. Um, Yes, you know, yeah. Like, what's it Mast. Mast. Okay, so this is the Breckenridge Avalanche. Ooh, that's good. That's got a nice, rich taste to it. Okay. Well, first of all, see how how do you like your port? You got a port, right? Yeah, it seems kind of light. Taste it. See what you think. Pretty good. It's light. Can I try it? I okay. guess I can give it a try after. So, okay, so I'm gonna try this ten-year-old port they got here. Ship ten. Remember what, what brand it was or what who made it? Rams. Rams. Like G A G R A H A M. Okay. All right. Tim's gonna try this Graham ten-year-old port now. Very good? Yeah. You like it? Okay. Okay, so here we are in the Brown Palace Hotel. We just had our second stop on the pub crawl today. Here's Tim. And we found this little private little room here off the lobby. This is in the Brown Palace Hotel. Yeah, this is Brown Palace Hotel. Just me and Tim in our own little private room here. No one else can get us, just us. And let me tell you, the Brown Palace Hotel is... It's amazing, nice. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful hotel. If you're ever in Denver, make sure you, if you, even if you don't stay here, come to the Brown Palace Hotel and check this place out. It is amazing. Okay, so this is the, this is the Appaloosa on 16th Street here in down, Rappaloosa Grill here in downtown Denver. The next stop on our pub tour, our pub crawl. And, and Tim's just gonna get a Coke here, but I'm getting a shot of tequila and some New Belgian Ale. And here it comes right now. All right, here's the Merlot. Regular Coke. There you go. Got the Blue Paddle Pilsner. Ooh. And the Casa Mole. There you go. Okay, so here we have our, our food. And we, Tim's got a platter of truffle, uh, garlic tru truffle garlic fries. I guess they're they're fries dipped in uh, or cooked in truffle oil. Is that what they're fries cooked in truffle oil? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. they're finished with a little truffle oil and some garlic, um, parsley. Yeah, they're really good, I, especially yeah. when you dip them in that sauce there. Yeah, and the black pepper aioli. Yeah, the stuff's really good. Uh -huh. Everything tasting okay, guys? Oh yeah, yeah delicious. Thank, Thank you. you. And then we have. Uh, Little buffalo sliders here. Here, Tim. And then Letty's got, what do you got over there, huh? Chicken skewers. Chicken skewers and edamame, right? How's your chicken skewers and edamame? Good. Right, this is the, the New Belgium Blue Paddle Pilsner. And you, what, uh, what does Blue, New Belgium, what are they famous for? What's their big beer? Fat tire ale. Fat tire ale. So that's, this is what we make this fat tire ale. We're here uh, at Happy Hour Appaloosa and we're going to try this Blue Paddle Pilsner. Bit, yeah, a bit on the tart side. It looks like a basic Pilsner. Tim wants to have a shot here. What do you think? Yeah, it is a little bit on the tart side. Huh? Maybe mom might like it, I don't know, maybe it's, I it's think a little so. bit I don't think so. I don't think she'll like it. Nah, she doesn't like those hoppy beers. She likes sour eels, but not hoppy. So here's a blue pound pilsner. And I gotta tell you, here if you come here at happy hour, here on 16th Street, here at Appaloosa anyway, all Colorado beers are $3 a pint. And now I'm gonna try the Casanova tequila. Ooh, that's good. That's real good. What is it? Casa Noble Tequila. You want to try it? 
sure. Do I need to lean back for a second? It's right there, buddy. Of course, what kind of tequila is that, Tim? Casanova? No, what what kind? Agave? It's a plata. It's a silver. Silver. Plata. Good. That is good. And Letty's going to have, she got the house Merlot there, so when she gets back from the bathroom, I'll let you know how good that house Merlot is, okay? It's good. What kind of was it? What'd you get, Merlot? Merlot. First, we don't know what it is, it's just the house Merlot, huh? House Merlot, it's, um, I don't know, you can describe it. Do you want to taste the sip of the, the tequila? Oh, look, he could have had a double play here. The, the reds could have, but he dropped the ball. It's not bad. It's pretty smooth. Yeah? Yeah. I like it. Let me try the Merlot. Oh, hopefully I don't get all sick later tonight. Give it a shot. Okay. It's nice, very smooth. Mm -hmm. It's a nice, uh, kind of a savory, savory smooth taste, nice.